says in the Quran, the wealth is a fitna for you. It's a test for you. Test means Allah is testing you with the wealth. And one of the tests is that our Creator says that if anyone who has a saving of more than 85 grams of gold, he or she should give 2.5% of that saving every lunar year in charity. That's called a zakat. So Allah giving you wealth. After he gives you wealth, he's seeing whether are you following his commandment. 2.5% of that saving, every lunar year should be given charity. That's the minimum. After that, do you give more charity? That's optional. So Allah is testing you. So wealth is the test for the human beings. That is the reason our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it is more easier for a poor man to go to Jannah than a rich man. For the poor man in Zakat, he gets 100 out of 100. He doesn't have to give Zakat. For the rich man, he may get 0, he may get 10 out of 100, he may get 50, he may get 100. But chance of him getting 100 is less. So Muslims normally, those who have to give zakat may be giving zakat but may not be giving in the correct uh, and this comes in other not that close to god i would say that whatever good things he has it's as we say in arabic hazam and fazli rabbi this is by the blessings of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hazam and fazli rabbi actually means that what god has given me i don't actually deserve it he has given me all this even though i don't deserve it that is the real meaning so for a young man who has been successful in life, he should realize that it is only because Allah has permitted it. He may be intelligent, but if he thinks his intelligence has only got him all this thing, he is the biggest fool in the world. It is only with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah has permitted. And sometimes Allah permits it even to a person who is far away from thee. And he may be testing you. As I told you earlier, your wealth is the test for you. Yes. Your blessings also may be a test for you. So Allah is testing that person that is this person going to thank me or not. So person may be an unbeliever. He and then there's fire. always responsibility attached yes. to it. So he has to respond back. If you think, no, you know, because I'm intelligent, because I've worked hard, so he's the biggest fool. That means he will fail in this test. And the year after he will not get any benefit from it. So, so therefore this world, a true Muslim, he should always thank Allah for his ni'amah and strive in the way of Allah so that he'll benefit in this world as well as hereafter.